Welcome back to the shop for another filament review. Today I'm refu reviewing a kind of a brand new budget filament. Uh, it's the Rep Wrapper brand of filament. Now on uh, Amazon they don't exactly have a huge store right now, but they do have a website. But their color selection is kind of bland at the moment, but they are starting out. You know, the basics, white, the blue, the black, the red, and so on. Um, their spools are quite interesting. It's almost like a recycled style spool, but they don't really brag on it. But it kind of feels that way and looks that way in the way the plastic is, which is kind of nice that they're actually spending the time to reuse some plastic. Some people are really into, you know, not wanting to waste a whole lot. Um, it's really nice PLA comes vacuum packed absolutely tight as can be it's unreal how tight it is it actually deforms the spool slightly uh, the temperature range for it actually calls for 190 to 240 on my two setups it actually runs really great between 195 and 200 anything above that it kind of strains a little bit 197 is absolutely a great temperature for it uh, the standard Menchie test looks really good actually um uh real smooth overhangs are real good um this is a 0.2 layer height so that's actually quite good for a 0.2 layer height for a filament that was only about 12 dollars a roll at the time that i bought it um the standard of course mandatory dragon test came out really really good you know Seeing as I print both of them at the same time, it's actually quite surprising sometimes when they come out this good. Uh, then I made this bad boy for a friend of mine out of it. Really nice. Very minor little overhang cleanups needing to be done. Other than that, that's really good. That was a very, very long print right there out of it. I did a... Um, uh, couple other projects with it that I don't have here right off the bat one of the things to note on it that they actually do brag about is their spooling this is unreal smooth spooling on it I mean brand this is me trying to re-spool it back on to get done with it <laughs> you can see the inner spooling it is smooth as glass across because it is so well spooled on there I've yet to have a feed issue I've got some red of this, I've got black of this, and it runs absolutely beautiful. I was having a problem with uh, one of my extruders, and to test it, I actually grabbed the spool of red and put in it over all the expensive stuff I have, just because I knew it would run. And I've already ordered more of this because it runs so great. Um, I'm really hoping they get some of the more translucent colors, which I absolutely love. And I really hope they get into PETG because, quite honestly, if their cheap material runs this good, you need nothing else. I mean, if you're just wanting to get printing with a cheap PLA, order this stuff. I have yet to get a failure out of it at all. It runs absolutely beautiful every single time you put it on the machine with no questions i mean this right here very first time i ever printed it and it's absolutely perfect and that's at 0.2 layer height i didn't even bother doing a 0.15 on it because this is 18 hours right here to do this print and i haven't even cleaned it up other than putting pulling some support off of it and it looks that good Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to order some of this, there's a link below for Amazon. Um, please use it because I get uh, 75 cents for a roll if you order it for, through me. And it helps me buy more filament and more tools to try out that I'm going to start reviewing a lot more. Um, thanks for watching.